Sorry. <laughs> All that I know is they'll get older, older. So let us dance this side away. How you doing? Um, I decided to come out here today because I was feeling really uninspired and creatively I just feel like there's this block um, which happens to me often. I used to just uh, abandon my projects and then like sort of like go into isolation. Like if I don't get this song out and it doesn't sound perfect the way that I want it to, then when I'm like so like locked in and focusing on like my struggles, my challenges, I feel like that's that's the be all end all. I don't know. I take that really badly, but for the four, for the past four or five weeks, I've just been trying to recenter to find my reason to keep going. And I find that you know when I change my environment, when I come out and I do something that's fun, it helps me to put see everything in perspective that you know I'm doing all this because it's fun and I love it and so last weekend we went with the kids and they wanted to do 24 hours in the car where you can't get out you just got to stay in there eat in there even if you have to pee you have to I don't know you have to deal with it <laughs> it's so easy for me to think that's a silly idea <laughs> you know you're gonna be so uncomfortable you're gonna be cold you're gonna get bitten whatever it's not safe but when you actually do it it's like yeah, I just We had more fun, Janice and I had more fun than the kids did. And I think that is like such a big realization, not just like with the kids, but in life, like all the little things that I feel like are not worth my time, when I actually do it, One, two, three. it turns out to be like the best thing that my, my soul needed <laughs> to feel like whole again, to feel like a child again, to feel like I have perspective and what life is all about. It's been a really great start to the year. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not the um, smoothest and easiest. <laughs> At the beginning of the year, around March, is when like the New Year celebration and the holidays are all over, and you know the kids are in school, and we're back in full swing. How's good life? Good life is sort of on a hold because I want a specific sound for this song and I don't know how to achieve it yet. So I've had to decide to put it on hold so I can learn how to mix this song properly so that I can give it the sound that I really want it to have. It's a song that I really like. I really like this song. There's this extra pressure that I put on myself to make it sound like perfect, but you know, there isn't such such thing as a perfect perfect sound, you know, is whatever I'm happy with. So I'm just trying to get it the closest to what I really imagine it and want it to sound like. <laughs> Like there, right there. Like I wish that it had more presence coming in. Like, you know, after the break, like I wanted to be. Never said I was ready to grow. I love this part. Never said I was ready to give up. But here. What's the biggest complication? I just don't know anything about mixing songs. I don't know anything about frequencies and how to mix a song in a way so that everything, you can hear everything. Anything I've ever, ever released on Spotify was just me guessing, like, you know, like pressing buttons and like turning dials and stuff to try and make it sound like normal. But I've never felt like I knew how to do this. And it was something that I was running from because, you know, I'd have to learn it something brand new. But I'm doing it. I am learning, I'm going to learn how to mix this song. What made you want to organise a birthday party for Andy? Other than the fact that it's his 40th birthday. <laughs> Over the last year or so, like, it's just been 
this constant journey of healing and efforts made on both parts to really achieve this amicable friendship, you know, that we always thought was impossible. So, you know, we're friends now, which is a miracle. Okay, can you make sure that you hit the camera? And I just thought it would be nice for people to just come together and celebrate Andy because, you know, without Andy, my life would look very different right now. You know, Jordan and Levi as well. I think like seeing them, seeing them see all of us in one space, I think would be very healing for them as well, as much as it is for me or for Andy or for anyone. What about Charlie? He will stay still. If he stays still, he might stay still. Five, four, three, two. I feel like seeing that even if like parents are separated, they can still be friends and still be kind to one another. I think that's an important thing for them to experience themselves. Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Oh my gosh, I love it so much already. <laughs>